Hi Libra. Welcome to Willow Oak. I'm here to do a reading for you for the month of July. So please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Okay. This is a general reading. So please use your intuition to help guide you in this as to what resonates and what doesn't. And you might check your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, for a more complete picture. Okay, let's see what your first card is. Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide, and it does. It really does. If you stop and think back, there might have been times in your life that were challenging, but the universe came through mm -hmm. in some fashion. Okay, let's get the wisdom of the oracle, see what they would like to share. Community. That's come out a fair amount during these readings. So it might be a collective thing. Mm -hmm. This is saying sometime during the month of July or around there, you know, time is fluid, so this reading could last longer if it wants, that you need to spend time in your community. Okay? It could be just you and another or you and many others. Sometimes when I go out in the community, I uh, live in a suburb of a suburb, maybe a suburb of a suburb of a suburb. And so the downtown is just one street. And a lot of people walk up and down it and there's restaurants and the candy store. And, you know, you go in and eat and there might be a little socializing and for some people, there's a lot of socializing, but the point is just being there, sharing um, the moment, it feels very good. And this is saying, during this month, you need to have some community time. And it could be nothing more than that, or it could be helping each other in some fashion. You will know when the time is right. But it does say, spend time in the community during July. Okay, now this particular card I'm taking is to be a companion to your overall energy. It doesn't have to be. It can be like these. But I'm kind of hoping that it will work with your overall energy. Alright. So let's see what we have. Hope. Beautiful. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. And do keep this with you in your mind, okay? Hope is very important. So this is a lovely energy to have with you during this month. Okay, now let's see what your overall energy is. And I hope you're doing great. This should be a fun time of year for most people. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is. The lovers, very nice. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So, intimate friendships, right? And over here you have community. This could be connecting, right? As well as this. And another thing that the lovers does say is that if it is not about the lovers, but it can include that. It is about making a major or an important decision this month. So we need more cards to see exactly what this is about. So it could be either or both. Okay? 
beautiful energy, Major Arcana. Okay, so let's get some tarot to see what we can find out. And I can also see how hope can easily go in with the lovers, whichever interpretation. Your first card. Ah, you need to make yourself a priority, okay? You need rest, relaxation, um, doing things that you want to do. It could be taking naps. It could be going out in the community and just enjoying yourself. Whatever it is, you need to make yourself a priority during this time, okay? Pay attention to your needs, desires, things like that. And make yourself a priority, as much of a priority as you do the loved ones in your life. Because you are just as important. They are very important to you, and you need to be important to you as well. Okay? The better adjusted you are, it will spill out to those that you love. So it will help them as well. Okay, let's get another card. Yeah, and you see in this card, just to show you, here's a heart and you in a little nest. So it's saying, yeah, love yourself enough to give yourself the time and attention you need. And you know, the devil's been coming out a lot as well, which is kind of interesting. The devil is saying that there is something going on that is not in your best interest, okay? It can be a variety of things. It could be addictions, unhealthy relationships. Most of the time, what it really is, is challenging emotions and thoughts. Okay, like here's hope. How does somebody feel if they don't have hope? It would fall under a very unbalanced energy. So we'll have to take more cards to see. But like right here, are you making yourself a priority? If not, it can fall under this, okay? But we'll find out more. Okay. Let's see what else would like to come out. But yeah, if you look at the devil, his hand is outstretched and it's like he is a puppeteer. You know, and he's happy in that position, right? Okay, falling cards. That's been happening a lot today. Mm-hmm, balance. This is very important. If there is a lack of balance, and it looked like there could possibly be a lack of balance because you have the devil in here making yourself a priority. And when you make yourself a priority, as well as, you know, the people you love, it brings in balance. And this is extremely unbalanced. So you need to do this, get rid of this, and bring in this. Okay? All right. Let's get a few more cards. Beautiful. The Ace of Wands. This is talking about you starting something that you're very passionate about. It's a beautiful energy. So this is something inside of you that you really want to get going. And from the cards out here, I would say it's knowing that you need to make yourself a priority, which can be very challenging to do. Especially if you're busy, say, whether you're outside the home working or, you know, inside the home working. That's a, inside the home is a very busy job. And you want balance in your life, okay? 
So that might be your passion, but it could be anything, an idea you have, something. And you're wanting to bring that to life. And it looks like you are because this is a new beginning of doing just that. Okay. Here we have the Five of Cups. Talks about you being focused on these three spilled cups right here. Yeah? And those cups are in the past. They are gone. Okay, all they are is a memory. And they can, according to this energy, they are challenging. They're not these beautiful, happy thoughts. These are a focus that you have that is about the challenges that you've gone through of some kind. And they no longer serve you. Matter of fact, they don't serve you at all. They are a detriment. You need to let them go. Put them in the past and focus on the two cups that are full that you have. Because any time you're experiencing something that's unbalanced, it would fall under this category. Yeah, get rid of this. You can get rid of this. And here you have justice. And justice is saying that if you have been wronged in some way, justice is here to make it right, to help you with that. And it's also, to me, an important aspect. The scales, you see, balance. And right here, you have a card of balance. So it's important during this time that you bring in and keep with you balance. Balance puts you in a flow state. You know, like this, where you're just kind of going with the river. It doesn't mean you can't make your own decisions, etc. But that you're flowing. You're not fighting upstream, okay? So that is an important aspect because it's twice. Okay, let's get a few more cards. Beautiful. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And what that is saying is you are going to be very happy and content with the Pentacles in your life. And Pentacles, of course, can be money, job, career, entrepreneurship, anything like that that's got to do with Pentacles. But it doesn't have to. It's also abundance. So whatever you consider abundance, right? Maybe for you abundance is just peace or happiness. It could be whatever it is that you find abundance in. Okay? Let's get another card. Okay, here we go. Look at this. This is the very same card as this. So that's the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. You need to make yourself a priority. And if that means getting rest, then get rest. And like I said before, if it means going out in the community and just enjoying yourself, that's what you need to do. But you need to make yourself as much of a priority as you do those you love, okay? And the split from taking those, I wanted to show you, is the Ten of Cups, which is you and everybody you love being very happy. And if you recall, a moment ago I mentioned something about when you make yourself a priority, it kind of spills out to those that you love and care about. They feel it, and it affects them as well. So... It will bring in happiness for you and those you love. And here, it's about making decisions. And it's, um, since it's for this card, it would be making decisions that help you put yourself in this priority. And when you make these decisions, if you already know what it is, exactly what it is, and it's pretty simple, you know, it could be nothing more than saying, I need to make myself a priority, and here's how I'm going to do it. 
But if you have any doubts or you're not sure, you know, which is better, this or that, research your choices, okay? Because sometimes all the choices are good. Other times, there's only some that are good and others that are not. And you need to make for sure that you're making the best choices for you. Okay. Let's get some more. <laughs> okay, little cards. They're kind of choppy here. All right. Beautiful. This is talking about you leaving where you've been. And according to these cards, it would be dwelling on things from the past. You know, having an imbalance, not making yourself a priority, that, those sorts of things. And going to your happiness, where you feel you belong, where it's beneficial to you, okay? So this is you going for your happiness. All right, and this can have a few different meanings. One can be like, is it really worth you putting in all of this time and effort? It's only for you to decide. However, on the other side, and to me this would be a better fit, is you plant the seeds, you nurture the seeds, you give them water and love, sunshine, nutrients, and it takes a little bit of time, but before too long, you have this beautiful flourishing garden. And of course, that's an example. What this really means to me is, is it worth you making yourself a priority? Well, yes, it is. And by doing so, you will flourish. You know, you'll become healthy, emotionally, mentally, physically, it gives me chills, okay? It's an absolutely beautiful thing to do. And it's also coming out right under the Ace of Wands, which is starting something that you're passionate about. And you should be passionate about making yourself a priority. And like I said before, I think, this is not to say that you decrease the people you love's priority at all. It's more to say you make yourself as important as the people you love because you are. Life gets so busy that oftentimes we make ourselves the very last. And that's not a healthy thing to do. Okay? The happier you are and the more healthy you are, the more it spills over onto the people that you care about. And of course, I'm dropping another card. I've done that so many times today. It's actually two cards. You have the devil again. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Right? That this is an important time for this. Okay? So that's the devil increased in power. So it's even more important that you remove this from your life. It's important to remove it from life with one, but here it's saying, you know, it's a stronger thing that to work through. And here you have the Three of Pentacles, which is where you are either teaching, learning, working with others. And over here you have community. Now it could be that this is your support system as well right? So it might be helpful to you, only you will know, if by including the people that you trust and love in this, that they might be able to help you in this process, okay? 
and beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, you have celebration. And this is where it's an informal kind, where you get together with the people you, people you love and care about, dancing, singing, merriment, you know, just having a good time. <laughs> so that would say to me, success. And also, for me, this means your support system. And I was just talking about that right here. So your support system is truly here for you. Okay, now we're going to get some clarifying cards and see what they would like to share. All right, let's get a card for the Four of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Okay, what this is saying is use your intuition, your psychic gifts, your knowledge, um, and all those, if you know this, are within you, okay? Use that to figure this out. What do you need to do? And, you know, maybe you could write a list if you need to. What do you need to do to make yourself a priority? It could be anything. It all depends on you, what it is you need or feel you want. Maybe it's taking in the evening out every week for a bubble bath. Maybe it's setting, you know, boundaries like, okay, at 7 o'clock at night, I am done. The rest of the evening is relax time. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for all of you. But go within because inside you know exactly what it is you need to make yourself a priority. Okay? And the result will be you're going to be very happy with your pentacles. So pentacles in this case could be abundance, could be the pentacles, you know, money, finances, whatever. But it, what it is is abundance. By doing this, going in and figuring it out and putting it into action, it's going to make you feel abundant. Okay? So now, let's get a card for the Devil and the other Four of Swords. And I can already see part of what's going on here is the Devil is saying, you are not doing this. Mm -hmm. And the Devil's happy with that. It's good with that, right? Because it puts you out of balance. Okie dokie, some beautiful clarifying cards. You have the star here. And the star has a few different things. One is it's healing. So if there's any healing that you need to do in order to go forward and make yourself a priority, it is here for you, okay? And see if there's challenging thoughts, right? Like right here with the Five of Cups and they're hurtful in any way. This is here to help you with those. And this is, say the traditional meaning when you see, you know, stars, wish upon a star. That is what this means. And there's also balance here. But this means your wishes can come true. You have to take action towards them, but they can come true. So it's a beautiful clarification. Healing is here. Your wishes coming true in balance, okay? The devil is not going to like your wishes coming true and balance and healing. It's just not going to happen. So he'll be out. Okay, and here you also have the magician. And the magician is somewhat similar to the high priestess in that it all lies within. It's an action-oriented card, but it's saying that you have everything you need in order to create the reality that you want. You just have to go within, find it, and use it, okay? And if you'll notice, all three of these clarifying cards, actually four, are major arcana. So this would say this is a very important time. Um, not just time, but important the actions you take, okay? And here is the chariot. 
And the chariot is talking about you deciding something that you want to do and going for it, and you're very adamant. It's an action-oriented card, kind of like the magician. Going for what it is you want, and with great determination. And since this is about the devil, and you making yourself a priority, it's saying, oh yeah, you are. If there's healing to be done, you're going to do that. And whatever your wish is, you can have it. It's yours. And the magician, you have everything you need to put this into being. And the chariot, determination is now coming in. You realize these, which brings on this. You know you can do this thing. So the devil will be out. Okay. Now let's get a card or more for the Two of Pentacles, which is all about the balance, and the Six of Swords, which is moving on to your happiness. Okay. All right. What that is, is an argument. And it can say a few things. And that is, if you do get into an argument with somebody, the very best thing you can do is try to work it out with them. If that doesn't work, then try to agree to disagree. And if that doesn't work, then you walk away. But what it also says is you're victorious. Okay? You're the one holding the sword. They're the one walking away. So, it looks like whatever this is, and it tends to be you not making yourself a high enough priority in your life, not bringing in the balance you need, and maybe, you know, you're really fighting against it. But you're realizing the truth to this. So you're going to bring in the balance. And you're going to go for it. You're going to leave behind what was or what soon will be what was. And go for your happiness, which is you being a priority in your life. Okay, now I think this one did come out. It's kind of flipped. Okay, here you have the Ace of Wands going for something that you're very passionate about. And here is growing your garden, you know, starting from something very small and having patience and working on it and it coming into fruition. And you have the very same card as this card. So you're starting this new... Um, beginning or adding this to your life something that you're very passionate about and you have two of the same cards which of course adds power to this in this aspect so what you're really passionate about looks like is starting this new thing even though it's going to take time for it to grow into a fruition you're very devoted to it which is beautiful okay and I suppose I should take these out because this came out before and um, it wants to be seen. So, taking it out. Okay. This is the exact same card as this. You moving on to your happiness. And this is the exact same card as this. Which is saying the potential exists that you'll be working with somebody or people. And it could be about helping you make yourself a priority and it could be you know like i said this is learning teaching working together support system it could be therapy it could be getting together with people you love and trust it could just be something like i mentioned early in the reading something as simple as just being in the community because that will raise your vibrations it will make you feel better okay whoa and that is, I started to take another card. That's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's sum it up. The abundant universe will provide, and it will. It will help you through whatever is going on. Here, it's talking about it's important to be in your community. Um, and you'll know when. But various times, one time, many times throughout this month. And it looks like that will help you lift yourself up into this um, energy of being a priority in your life. 
okay? The devil wants you to stay out of that energy, but you're very determined and you know it's what you want and all the answers lie within you. So that leads me to believe that a lot of the issue is hanging on to challenging energies, especially things that have happened in the past that could have been hurtful. And you had justice here, right? To help make things right. But so letting go of these challenging emotions that, that serve no good purpose. If anything, they're detrimental. Letting those go and seeing what you do have and cherishing it. Okay? Also, bringing balance in is very important here. All right? Going forward, going for what it is that you're passionate about and building it and working on it, nourishing it to the point that it ends up being just beautiful. All right? And let me stress again, this is not to say that you are lowering the importance of the others that you love. That doesn't exist. It's just saying that you're making yourself as important as they are in your life. Okay? And this is also the potential of being in the community. This is being in the community. So you have several cards about getting out and doing things with a person or people. And it could be concerning this or it could just be going out and having fun. But you need to get out and do things. All right? We happen to be um, a social creature. And it helps us to be able to go out with people and have fun. All right? And here is celebration and your support system. So to me, it says, yeah, you're going to be successful in this. And you'll be support or celebrating with the people that you care about who are also your support system. And we don't want to forget these. Remember, have hope. The loved one, your loved ones in the spirit world, know when something is amiss and they are here to help you okay remember there is always hope if you're down do not forget the hope it's huge and your overall energy the lovers could possibly be a romantic relationship coming in but I do think it's an important decision that you need to make to make yourself a priority in your life Mm -hmm. But it could be both, too. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards from the universe. And it could be advice. It could be confirmation. Anything that the universe would like to share. Whoa. Started to do a little twist on me there. Okay. Beautiful. I think this is a very good card. This is saying, it's an ending. It is saying, you are letting go of the burdens. Which is to say, you are letting go of all these challenging emotions. You know, and going for what it is that you want. Which means the devil will be gone. Okay? It's a big deal. And let me tell you, if you're carrying around all these burdens, it is very heavy. And how can a person feel fulfilled and happy when they feel like they're walking around with hundreds of pounds on their back? It's very hard. And every time you get rid of one of those burdens, you feel a little bit lighter. And by the time you get them all off your back, you feel so light and so good. And rising yourself up or raising yourself up to make yourself a priority, that's going to get rid of a lot of those burdens. Mm hmm and I'll also be getting this devil away. Okay, you have the Five of Swords, which is right here. So this one is confirmation of you being in a, some sort of a challenge, but winning the battle. Okay. Let's get one more. Okay. 
or a few. Okay. You have the Five of Cups, which is this card. So again, confirmation of what you're going through. And here, this is hanging on tight to something. So there's something going on in your life where you feel like you cannot make yourself a priority because there is so much, for example, that needs to be done. Um, or you have another example, you have this job that you do not like, but you do it because it brings in the income and you can't afford to do something that you enjoy. There could be many, many scenarios, but the universe is saying, let go of the burdens. You're going to win the battle. Let go of the past. It will not serve you. Let go of holding on so tight to this challenge. Okay, let's get one more. All right. Or two. Let's take two. Okay. Very same card that you have here. The universe is telling you, celebrate. You are going to be victorious here. Things are going to improve greatly. And you have the Queen of Swords, which is saying, all you need to do, kind of like over here, right? Go within. All your answers lie within you. And the Magician is talking about this. Here is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is really a no frills energy. All she wants is the truth. So this is saying, drop the burdens. You're winning. You're going to be victorious. You're going to let go of these past energies or whatever is going on that does not serve you. And here it's just confirming that let go of the challenging need to hold on to something that is not going to benefit you. Celebrate. Have your support system because you are creating this change and you're basing it on your truth. Beautiful. Okay. That's a wow reading, I think. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have strength. And this is saying you are very strong and you're filled with love and compassion. You're going to be able to do this, not a problem. So make for sure that you bring in the balance. And by bringing in the balance, it is going to help you tremendously. If you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe and leave comments. It all helps, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's close this out with a charm. And now I don't look, so I really have no idea. This one keeps coming out. You have a baby buggy. And so what this is talking about is something new that you are creating that means a lot to you, okay? You know how precious babies are. And so... To me, what we've talked about a lot in this reading is making yourself a priority. You know, helping yourself, having hope, lifting yourself up. And it's very precious. Okay? So you need to go forward with this. Let's put, where's, we should put that right here. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful month and thank you so much for spending time with me. I greatly appreciate you. Much love. Bye.